you could not fail, where would you go and what would you do? Being a leader doesn't mean you have to be the boss. Things don't just happen, it takes, it just takes people with initiative to make them happen. Leadership isn't always leading from the front, charging into battle. Um, it can just be um, contributing and making a positive contribution. I was prompted by some members of, of my old club and, and a lot of them suggested that that would be a good thing for me to do. Um, I was a bit uncertain about it at first and whether or not you know, I'd be the sort of person that they want um, in the leadership group, but uh, once I got in there I realised that everyone in the group was real similar to me and everyone had uh, similar opinions and feelings about surf isolating and, and we're all sort of there for the same reasons. So the exercise they got us to do was right down on, on a um, post-it note all of the different services that Surf Life Saving New Zealand provides. When, when we prioritised all the different services um, and all the different functions that Surf Life Saving New Zealand provides, some of the things that we felt were really important to clubbies like nationals were quite far down the line. That exercise um, has stuck with me my whole, my whole career and, and as a consultant, um, as an employee, and as an individual thinking, okay, what's important to help us achieve our end goal? Had some long and lengthy debates about key sort of surf life saving things happening at that time. You know, should we start swim schools? Should we get rid of junior surf? Personal leadership and understanding how you work and then we did other activities where we function more as a group. I know for a lot of the other people on the leadership group um, who hadn't, a lot of them had never set foot in the national office before, um, they got to see why a lot of the decisions that have been made over the years were being made. Yeah, it was just good for a start to meet a whole lot of different people from all over the country that were all very, very similar to yourself. A whole lot of fun and I had a lot of friends on that and made a lot of new ones. Really, I think it was the first time where I was part of Surf Life Saving New Zealand. Yeah, it was a huge door opener for me uh, in terms of what I was going to do with my life and sort of provide a bit of direction. My relationship with Surf Life Saving New Zealand changed because it gave me an understanding of everyone around the country that, you know, from Ariti to the far north. Looking back on everyone that was involved in that group, everyone has gone on to leadership roles within either their surf club more or within their district more or even nationally as in Lancaster as an example. The Leaders for Life regional program that's coming out this year um, looks awesome. Uh, you know, it's, it's got some great elements from the leadership program that I went through in terms of that group type structure and um, you know the ability to work with other people in your area and, and look at leadership problems but I think the main thing that it offers that, that we weren't offered I guess was that one-on-one -on -one mentoring, uh, you know that ability to talk to a coach um, at certain periods and, and you know talk about what's in your mind, any issues that you've got, those types of things so um, I think it'll be an awesome uh, thing for people to get involved in that original year. Um, but being part of a leadership development program is, is just a really great opportunity. Uh, it's a really positive experience in that you get to share um, a lot of uh, experiences and, and frustrations as well and come up with ideas and, and solutions to those frustrations. So there's, there's so much benefit in the programs because they just add so much to um, your appreciation of, of the organisation and they certainly lock you in to Stay in the organisation for life, which is probably the greatest thing. Regardless of, of the organisation that you start a leadership program in, the skills are transferable. You know, leaders are important through every facet, um, right from the beach and, and doing our core business of keeping people safe between the flags to that strategic direction that surf needs. Leaders aren't necessarily the, the best sports people or brightest sparks, they're the people that are willing to stand up and change things and they're the doers and the people that um, pull people together so um, anyone, anyone should put the name forward that is generally interested in, in improving surf life saving and um, 
taking the organisation forward for the next 100 years.